Okay, I did a thing. And I'm starting to think that the thing's doing me. All right, guys, so this is gonna be a handheld raw video. I do have the camera looking here, but I did a thing. And that thing is probably gonna define this channel for years to come. Back in the 90s, I was president of the Eugene Springfield Amiga Users Group. And another gentleman by the name of Carl Stone was the president of the Lane County Commodore Users Group. And uh, so recently he has passed. And so I just bought this collection from his family. So, and you will be meeting all of them as well. The idea here is to do a respectful exploration of their dad's life and all of this stuff and share it with the world. Um, and everywhere you look, there's just amazing things. Um, I cannot count the number of Commodore 128s that are in piles. Um, right here is their dad's 128, along with his monitor and uh, some disk drives. So I told the family that rather than take all the machines, I'm gonna restore this one. So expect a video in the future restoring this machine and uh, returning it to the family. Printer, discs. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with so many floppy disks. And I'm sure a lot of them are copies, but uh, looking through here, I've noticed that there's a lot of uh, the disks from their user group, the monthly disk from the user group. So assuming the flux is still good, I plan to archive those and get them up on archive.org. Also, there are their newsletters here. And so I plan to organize all these newsletters and at least what I can get uh, archived on archive.org along with the Eugene Springfield Amiga Eucharist Group ones, the ESOG ones. So, stuff. Stuff. And more stuff. Urgh. This is kind of the Amiga corner, so don't think I'm abandoning Amiga. Commodore 64 was my first love, but my Amiga was my soulmate. So they're both very special to me. I know that sounds cheesy, but I'm sorry. If you don't like cheesy, I'm, I'm an old man, I'm cheesy. Very nostalgic. Um, some of this stuff, I have no idea what it is. An Enhancer 2000. Um, down in these drawers, there's a bunch of circuit boards that I don't know what they are. There's one drawer full of unopened blank floppies. Um, one thing you may notice is that everywhere I turn, there's 1541s and 1571s, and they're everywhere. A um, little, little something there. Now, this is where I get to the part that's really freaking me out, and... I don't know at this time if I'm going to include that in this video or in a future video. But a friend of ours, and I'm going to have to blur this, but the name on here is an old friend, Chuck Keach. And I sold my Amiga 500 to Chuck Keach back in the day uh, because I was starting my business and I wrote his receipt in that uh, Receipt book, I still have the receipt showing me selling it to him. And there's, there's an Amiga 500 right here that is in the box that mine came in. And so that may well be my 500. I had my 500 in a tower case, but nothing like that's mentioned on the sale, bill of sale. So I probably returned it to its case before Chuck took it. Um, again, 128, uh, 128 hiding there. Is that a 128? I think so. Oh, it's under here. Hey, look, it's a 128 that's not looking too happy. Um, uh, 
that. Oh, I forgot to show you guys back here. I've been, I've been having a, a, a eBay alert for an Epix joystick that I loved back in the day. So, yeah, sitting right there. That'll be getting used. And then <clears throat> back here, I really don't know what's back here. There are a couple of photocopiers that I'm not taking. So there is some of this space that uh, is not for me. Although looking in the stands, it looks like they have 1541s in some of them. Um, but there is software. And by software, by software, I mean there's like all the software. Some of this stuff is new in box, still shrink wrapped, duplicates of some of the stuff. So like their destroyer is in shrink wrap, Insta is in shrink wrap. And there's multiple copies of some of this stuff. And then up here are two very, very nice looking plus four boxes. So hopefully those are populated. Uh, another thing I noticed is really clean looking 1571 boxes all over the place. So hopefully there will be a few of those. There are no signs whatsoever of pets, but there are a couple of 8080 disk drives. So there's that. I don't know if these Commodore boxes are boxes um, or if they have machines in them. So uh, we'll find out together and then so I mentioned 1541s 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 Commodore 128 boxes I don't know how oh yeah they're heavy they're heavy and Lots and lots of drives and stuff. And then over here, books. <clears throat> I have been trying to find this book for a price I could afford for like two years. This, I loved programming the 6502 by Zax. So that's in here. <clears throat> lots of books. Looking at a, just a couple of these binders. They had photocopies of software manuals in them. So, <clears throat> so I don't know how that useful it will be. Uh, official 128 programmers reference guide. So I've got one of those and more to spare. No idea what all those are, but they look like actual official Commodore books to go with the machines. So Carl Stone, you were the man. This is just mind boggling to me. So I've got a couple of weeks to get all of this cleaned out of here. I've got about two weeks, week and a half to shoot some video in here because the thing that makes me really sad, it just occurred to me yesterday, is that I have better access to this stuff than I probably ever will again because I got to pack it all in boxes, lug it with a U-Haul, and then put it into multiple storage spots. It's going in... Uh, probably a storage locker um, to work through, but I will document every box, what's in it, put it on a spreadsheet because, you know, I did say I'm geeky, right? Uh, once I have all this stuff in a spreadsheet, I'll be able to, uh, to organize it and see what's, uh, what's manageable and what's not, or, you know, what can take, for instance, the heat in our attic. Um, and you know what? So there's a couple of... 5150, I think, cases here. Uh, those were in a different shed, but they still went with a lot. Um, one of them's pretty hollowed out. And they're all really rusty, but is it me or is that what this is right here? So I can't really get to it. But, ah, 128D, oh sweet, thank you. So, yeah, um, it's a lot, and, uh, you know, I'm trying, you may have noticed, I'm really trying to keep up my video pace, but this may impact that, um, but I will try 
to keep up with the videos. I am so nervous right now. I gotta know. We've already had one pile collapse today, a box collapsed, and it turned out all it had in it was one Commodore 128. All right, got another Panasonic, one of the quiet printers. These were nice printers. So there is a very light Amiga Power Brick, your old switching style. There's the introduction to the Amiga 500 manual to go with it. All right, so now for the moment of truth. Let's get this where I can get to it. Here we go. Let's see what's in here. I got my original Amiga 500 when I was in the army in Germany. It was a relatively early one and uh, took me weeks to get it. I remember ordering it, figuring we were going to be gone for, I think it was six weeks on exercises. Uh, this was in 87 or 86, 87 probably. Um, and I figured it'd be there by the time I got back. But when I got back, I still had to wait a couple of weeks before it finally came. Oh my God. I'm so scared right now. It's like ridiculous to get my hopes up on something like this, right? There's another power brake. There's a receipt for who knows what that's faded out. Now I am <clears throat> not absolutely certain, but fairly certain that my machine would be engraved. And this one is definitely not engraved, but it looks real nice. And then I need to get into the trap door here. Very carefully do this in a way that I'm not gonna damage it. All right, so it has a little tiny expansion card in it. Mine had an A501, so this is definitely not my machine. It's still a very nice Amiga 500. It's my machine now. And uh, look at that. Battery is just starting to leak. So we will not put this in there. I'll stick this in here. All right, so now we know that was a little bit too much to hope for. And uh, it's a nice Amiga 500 that's going into my car right now, but hashtag not my machine. So watch the channel for updates in the future. This has just been a rough look. I haven't had time to do a lot of editing, but I've shot lots and lots of footage for goodies in the future. Uh, once something's up, I'll link it here. In the meantime, here's another video you might like. Thanks for coming.